this video is a uh, just a presentation of a model that I had built in late 2009, and I'm a gigantic fan of E.T. It's I was only a few years younger than, than Elliot when the movie came out, and really related to the movie. It was just something I went crazy about. Um, first movie that actually made me cry. I'm not embarrassed to admit that. And one of the only movies that still does. So all of this is a tribute to that film and a tribute to the work that ILM did back in the 80s, building filming miniatures, which is kind of a rarity today. So I wanted to do a little bit of a tribute to their work and also Ralph McQuarrie. Um, I've always been a big fan of Ralph McQuarrie. I got to meet him a few times and had a really nice chat with him about his designs and how he came up with ideas and did a lot of research on what their inspiration was for the ship. What gave me the big push to build this was actually seeing the filming miniature at the Sci-Fi Museum in Seattle. So I, I took a lot of photos, I took some reference, kind of got really excited about building the ship after I had seen it. So when I came back from Seattle, I almost immediately started building the ship. I guess you could say I became a little obsessed with building this because I just really love the design. Everything here was made from scratch. Either it was sculpted in wood or turned on a lathe. Uh, there's pieces here that have been carved in foam. Parts that were scratch made just out of plastic. And all of this is really sturdy. And I didn't want to build a gigantic studio scale model. I, I believe the original is something like, oh, it seems like it's at least three and a half feet tall. And the diameter of the body of the hulls is gotta be at least two and a half feet in diameter so this is considerably smaller but it's still a very large model and what you see here is a completely assembled primered buildup I haven't yet completed a finished fully painted buildup but that's coming soon I'll probably post another video that shows what one of these looks like fully painted the base is a piece of quarter-inch MDF uh, cut to a circle, and then that's covered in paste, and then I used just HO scale terrain and just populated this with ferns and shrubbery, and let that cure overnight, and there's the base. And it's accurate, actually, to the base that is used for the display piece at the museum. And there you have it. This is the fully finished, primered version of the ship. My tribute to Ralph McQuarrie and the fine people at ILM. And a tribute to the days of physical model building for special effects. I really enjoyed building this piece and I hope you enjoyed watching this.